Hello, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are with Justin, who of course waits till after I leave this area to move here. I'm back in the North Carolina, Tennessee area visiting my friends and of course visiting Justin, who's my high school friend. You've seen him in my videos before, uh, who decided to move to this area after I left. But uh, we're back at the secret native brook trout waterfall place. We are of course camping here and uh, it's awesome. It's the weekend and nobody's here, which is why I love this place. But uh, we're gonna do some hiking, some fishing. Uh, I'm gonna show Justin all the sights around here, and uh, should be a good day. To start off, we're gonna be eating some uh, awesome breakfast burritos cooked right here in the woods. And Justin's finally getting the chance to try out his new stove. And uh, then we're gonna hike the trail and do some native brook trout fishing. Heck yeah, Chef Justin is uh, on point this trip. And of course, I learned from the best my dad, we're eating on Bojangles plates and using condiments that I've stolen from other random restaurants. <laughs> and we got hash browns, heck yeah. Alright, Justin's about to try his first ever Doctor Enough, so I'm gonna vlog this. Yeah, it's like Sprite, only way better, because it's made with real sugar. Technically, we're in North Carolina right now, but... We're right on the eastern Tennessee border, so, you know, doctor enough. Justin's taking the uh, scenic way across the creek. <laughs> I don't remember that being there the last time I was here. Somebody built that. I, of course, have got on my wading boots and waterproof socks. Cool. Well, we're about halfway there, I think. Well, we made it to the Cascade. See if there's any brook trout under the Cascade. And then we're gonna make our way to the waterfall. It was so, like, you get over there, it gets so slippery. Got some pig's foot fungus. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but that's what it looks like. Cool. Making our way up the Cascade, we're still hiking along it here. I think up here's some spots we can fish. Heck yeah. Wow, that's really grown in. That is really grown in. I caught a brook trout in here before. But yeah, I don't know if I want to... <laughs> yeah, I definitely crawled down there and caught a brook trout in there before. Nothing. Lame. Alrighty. To the waterfall we will go. That looks like that just kind of dead ends. Yeah, this is the way to go. Well, Is this the one in the pictures? Yeah. Do you want to try? I'll let you give the honors of under the waterfall. I missed one under here last time. True southern Appalachian fishing at its finest. Yeah, you gotta let them take it for a minute. That worm's a little long. 
You can cut that worm shorter too if need be. Oh no, no, it came off. No, no, it's on camera. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. Uh, taking our final cast here at the waterfall. We both missed the trout on our first cast. Alright. The final cast. This is true. Leaving the waterfall. Yeah. 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 Struggle continues to try and get Justin on his first ever Southern Appalachian brook trout. That's a bite for sure. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. All right. Well, camera malfunctioned a little bit, but we got our first Southern Appalachian native brook trout. Whoa, 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 whoa. First one ever. Yeah. All right, Justin, wet your hands, and then I'll hand them to you for a picture. Ready? Yeah. There he is. Let's take a picture of him. Out there. Yeah. He awesome. Like a fish, man. Yeah. That was an awesome picture. All right, you can go ahead and release them. camera of course malfunctioned while uh, you're reeling it in. It always only does that when I'm reeling in a fish. I got my old camera on my head, not my new one. Come see a picture of them. Sweet. First one. They're such pretty fish. That was a male too. They're the prettier ones. Yeah, the one I, I earlier actually was thought a female. it was one of them red horse suckers. So <laughs> you know, don't you think they look similar with the fins and everything? Yeah. Hey, that's a good picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The one adjust the fish is definitely better. Oh, yeah. You kind of, I don't know my why head, that makes head, you look weird. My head looks good. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why. What mode do you have the camera on? I didn't look to see if it's on a normal mode oh, or no, not. Don't post that one. That's on photo. Yeah, don't post that one. <laughs> well, that mission was successful. We got Justin on his first ever North Carolina Southern Strain native brook trout. Now we're going to head back to the main creek, get him on his first ever rainbow trout. Uh, he's caught steelhead, so you've sort of caught in rainbow trout, but we're going to catch the pure strain rainbow, which are not native to this area, but they are wild in this stream, and uh, it's full of them, and they're very pretty, so should be able to pull out a couple of those, and then we're going to head to the, start heading towards town. Butterfly crazy. I'm going to turn my camera on, and then that's when the butterflies chill out a little bit million of them. Whoa, you got <laughs> I got a hand if you need it. <laughs> that rock is slippery, I guess. I thought I was going in. I thought you were going in too. I think I did get that on camera. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! You yeah, let him down in the water. That's a rainbow. He didn't swallow it, did he? He did. <laughs> After all that. Actually, you have caught in rainbows before, because you fished the Taco Gorge. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, I did. You caught in rainbows in a Cray Outdoors video. They get bigger in this creek than Taco Gorge, but this is not a great example of that. Cool. Alright, 
to Main Creek now. So far, I think I've caught some poison ivy. Let's see if we can catch some fish to go with the poison ivy that I just got myself. Justin said he missed one down there. Here we go. Fish just ate it. I don't know what the fish is, but we gonna find out. Fish on! Trout. Brown trout. Yeah. Now it's a rainbow. Alright, I'm finally on the board. My buddy, here we go. Are you a rainbow or a brownie? I don't even know. I think you're a really ugly rainbow. Small mouth. Small mouth. I think I got him. Small mouth are easy enough to lip. Yeah, he just, I had to let, just let it sit there before he picked it up. Six pound test, he should come out. Not too big. Cool, he's looked right in the mouth too. Ow! Another effer. Yeah. I didn't want to grab him by the mouth because my hook's right there. Ow, his spine got me good. Alright, well, bigger. For a creek, you know. Not a bad small mouth for a creek, for sure. Ow, I gotta rinse my hands off now. Spine got me good. Nice. What is that? Baby smallmouth looks like. <laughs> nope. look, look at that, fish is chasing it. <laughs> yeah. There's a fish chasing a frog. See if I can catch the fish. The fish wasn't that big. Alright, I finally lost my worm, so I'm giving up. Thank you all for watching. I realized I never really filmed an outro to today's video, so I'm filming it now. I also realized that the video quality of today's video was not the best. I was filming with my old camera. I knew that we were going to be camping in an unsecure location, so I brought my old camera that malfunctions sometimes, and it's not the best video quality to begin with. So if you like these types of videos, like native brook trout fishing and stuff, be sure to check out my Southern Appalachia fishing playlist from last year when I was living in this area. I filmed some videos at this specific location that I'll also link to in the description where I was really, you know, focused on making uh, a, a really quality fishing video as opposed to today's video where I was just kind of, you know, focused on hanging out with my friend Justin and I just kind of brought you all along for the ride. So um, be sure to check out that playlist and those videos if you're interested. Thank you once again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Cray Outdoors and we'll catch you in the next adventure.